Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can access my new Daisy 1.22 compatible boosted loot Chernerus files. So, um, if you're already familiar with these files and you're using them, um, what you want to do is, uh, if you look in the description below this video, you'll see there's a link to uh, my GitHub which is this one here um, and there's also a link to my mega just in case github isn't working and you'll find the usual suspects here so if you want to get the files all you know click on the code button download the zip or if you go to mega you can just get, go into the folder and download the files and then basically they're the modded files that now include things like um, complete vehicles weapons with magazines and the new bags and some of the other new features as well so if you're familiar with how they work there's the readme that goes into a little bit more detail have at it download them um, when 1.22 comes along make sure you've got the latest server files um, uh, put the vanilla files on first then upload these over the top and you'll be good to go okay so for people who aren't familiar with these boosted loot files and a bit like well that was a bit quick Rob I don't really know how to use them first I just kind of want to show you a few of the things that you get with them and then I'm going to show you how to install them mainly on console on Nitrado server but uh, I'll discuss how to install them on a PC server as well so the idea behind these uh, boosted loot servers if server files is that they give you a better quality of life for beginners um, and for people who maybe don't have enough time to spend hours and hours and hours searching so if for example let's bring up the map let's go somewhere um, let's go to tizzy military for example let's go where should we go um to go up here Ooh press the wrong button oh right there we go here we are at tizzy military i'm doing this on my test server so you can see obviously you can't do this on console but if we go in here and we start having a look around what we hopefully will find are some complete weapons um, right okay so there's a magazine so as you can see the magazine has got 29 out of 30 bullets in so it's almost full which is very useful Ooh. Uh, there we have another magazine, 19 out of 20, that's full. Gun cleaning kit, pristine. You can see here. Oh, right, here we go. So there's an or X. So let me put that on my shoulder. Let's pick up this. And as you can see, it's got a magazine in it that's full of bullets. It's got a scope on it. Um, it's kind of uh, good to go, really, which is nice. Um, lots of the guns will also have silencers on them as well, which is very, very good. Another box of bullets. Let's go and have a look in somewhere else, just to give you a better idea. Ooh. Let's go inside this little barracks. Um, let's see what we can find. Some gloves, a radio, field vest. As you can see, they're all green, so they're all pristine. Nice and cool, isn't it? Right, let's now have a look at um, vehicles. So let's find a off-road. So what do we should do? Look at the off-road O2. Uh, let's find that. There we go, there's one there. Let's go and take a look at this. Humvee. There we go. So here we have the typical Humvee. And as you can see, it's got all the bits on it. So it's ready to go. And then if you have a look in the boot, you'll find it's got weapons. There's fuel in there. And all the vehicles are like that. So if, for example, we look for a... Uh, let's look for a... Uh, Sedan. There's one up at Nova Pet Novaya Petrovka. There we go. 
all ready to go and if we look in the boot of this one you'll see we've got this one's got a VSS in it and lots of good stuff and food and things like that and the trucks have got stuff in them as well um, and generally there's a little bit more food there's a little bit more drink and uh, just uh, makes life easier now the full details of all this are in my github repository or in the mega in the readme so if you have a good look at the readme you'll kind of see what's in there so we have these event trucks so there's an event truck at novaya at uh novi sabor um just outside the shop and there is another one at the top of the ski lift uh, area to the in the west of the map and they've got stuff in them so the one at um uh, novi sabor has got loads of weapons in and the one that's up at the ski lift has got loads of party stuff in you get one each of those you can turn them off in events if you want and the idea is they're kind of trader vehicles that you can take and drive around um, vehicles spawn in pristine we've got the latest 1.22 items which is basically lots of bags now I haven't added the tier system to existing bags so the new bags will spawn all around the coast and a little bit inland but I haven't changed it so that all the other bags will only spawn in the northwest I've left them as they were as they are however I have added the fill percentage to fuel cans gas cans and generators so they can now spawn with a certain amount of fuel in and I've done it so they're full or almost full I also have not added the tier system to the melee weapons as well um, lots of items spawn in pristine as we said which is nice so you get the bonfires everywhere loads of trucks with building stuff Humvees with loads of stuff um, cars complete with gas and if you look for the readme it gives you all the details of what's the which the um, what the different cars have inside them so they've got different stuff some of them have got like hunting stuff some of them have got fishing stuff some of them have got farming stuff some of them have just got weapons more helicopter crash sites more weapons on the uh, helicopter crashes uh, and I've taken most of the uh, we non-lethal weapons out of uh, sorry most of the non-weapons out of heli crashes more duct tape more sharpening stone more sterilization sterilization agents more NBC suits more knives, more police rifles, uh, there's the coloured variants of the guns, um, more large military bags, more nine, night vision, more 9 volt batteries, etc. And we've got some surprises, so pumpkin helms, weed, all that sort of stuff, the easter eggs, they don't think they work, they're all there. Um, so what you've got to do is, you've got to download the files first, so if you click on the code and click on uh, download uh, zip, that will download them to your local computer and you unzip them or if you're on mega just just copy the files down download the files that way oh one other thing as well is we do have the cfg gameplay.json and that allows uh, build anywhere that you can use as well next on your f on your server when 1.22 goes live so for example if i go into my playstation server here and we go into the web interface what you will see is when we get the official notification from the DayZ devs that, that it, the servers are being updated, you're looking for your server which will say version 1.22. Don't do anything until that point. Wait until they've been updated. Now, when a server has been updated by Nitrado, console service for Xbox and PlayStation, although they update the DayZ server dot, dot, uh, exe, um, the kind of the, the program that runs the server, they don't update the files. So what you've got to do is you go to general settings here and you scroll down and then you have to update the files and you do that by going to he says uh, where are we have I gone past it reset mission XML to default so you tick that and you save and you restart the server now this will take all of the files that are on the server and change them to the default vanilla 1.22 files so if you've done any modding at all that will all be gone so make sure you you've copied them those files down so you've got copies of those they'll all go back to vanilla once it's done the restart you untick that and then you save it again then all you need to do is you just go to the file browser and you go into the missions folder and these are churnerous files so you go into daisy offline plus plus and you go down to the bottom and you go upload file okay and then you go to wherever you've downloaded the files to and in the main sort of root directory of the mission you upload cfg event spawn cfg gameplay.json and cfg spawnable types so you'd hit open and you would upload them and then you would go into the db directory and you would click on upload and you would upload the events globals messages and types not the readme you don't do that and hit open and upload them 
Once you've done that, just hit restart server. The server will restart and those new items will, will start spawning in. Now remember, if the server's been running for a period of time, um, you will have had um, non-modded items spawn in. So you will have damaged things, you will have guns without scopes, um, without mags, vehicles without stuff on them as well. But as the server runs and it becomes updated, then the new stuff will slowly become um, replaced um, and you'll have those up-to-date files. So I would say if you are new to modding and you know you've recently bought your own server and you're thinking where do I get started honestly these file sets that I create these boosted loot ones are a really good place to start because I've done them for an awful long time people do seem to like them they don't go completely mad so the servers do seem to stay fairly stable um, and you can always adjust them after that to make them um, a little bit more well the flavor that you want from your daisy I remember this does work for PC Xbox and PlayStation um, and there we go there they are so hopefully you found them useful if you do of course or if you find any errors let me know because sometimes they have errors in as well so all you can say is if you if you've enjoyed the video and you find them useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon